easy, very simple, very effective. That is why he has provided data table object. Much easier than Excel dot application object. Excel dot application is a VB object. Purpose of VB scripting in QTP. There are lot of intelligence you need to apply in QTP and that intelligence can be applied only through VB scripting. VB scripting is the scripting mechanism understood by QTP. For example, conditional statement, loop statement, all are VB commands. Without that, you cannot complete a script. If I want to compare, I use a dot exist. Dot exist is a QTP, but the return value true or false, I need to manage using a if then else condition. If true, what I need to do. If false, what I need to do. So conditional statement, string manipulation, those are all mandatory in the projects. And that is where we generally call it as recording is 20%. Remaining 80% applying logical intelligence to the script to ensure script doesn't fail when data goes wrong. Script doesn't fail because my base state is not set properly. Script fails because the application changes dynamically so because of some reasons. For all this you can only without VB scripting you cannot apply the intelligence. Record and replay as I said, it's only 10 to 20 percent. But don't try to replace that 10 to 20 percent with the script. Then the amount of time to you take to finish a script will be much, much higher than the normal estimated time for a QTP. This is very important for you to understand. With this, Actual VB script is the flow control statements applied for QTP syntax. Uh, what do you mean by this? I am not sure but what VB script here flow controls are default understood by QTP that is because QTP object class we are using. For example when I use here window Window is nothing but an object class of QTP. So this window object is an object class. For this object class I apply a method called activate or restore etc. These are all I am applying a method to that object. This is different. VB scripting is different. This is to identify the object applying the method on that object. It is purely QTP does it. This Internally, he uses C sharp, Java, common class, common libraries. If you notice over here, QTP also uses Java libraries. I don't know whether you are aware of it or not. So it is program files. Under program files, HP. Under HP, you can see a common. The, these are all the DLS, initial DLS. If we go to QTP bin directory, in that you can see a Java files, JS files. QTP uses all this library for managing his uh, data, application data. When you say description properties, I use description properties to recognize the data in the application. How he recognizes? He, rec he uses JavaScript files as well. These are all the common library files that he uses. So this doesn't mean he uses VB script to identify an object. But whatever the logics that you try to apply, conditional, string manipulation, that he uses VB. Because he, for executing the VB, he uses compiler of Microsoft. So there are several ways he manages. Right? I hope it is clear. In test extensibility, if we get into that subject, 
you might see how jquery is used example of where we use data table object anywhere you want to write some data into an xls file i want to read a data from xls file data table object can be used and it is the most effective object in qtp wherever i want to take a common data when you manage a test case there will be some common test data which has to be used by most of the scripts those data you can retrieve using data table objects when you know the column names and row with which you want to retrieve the data right fine thanks